Yeah, I'm right now here in Singkang New Market, which is next to Riverville Plaza. It's 5.45 right now in the morning. Today, I'll be helping out as one of the assistants on the stall of the stall holders. Among the things I'll be doing is to learn how to cut up uh, beef as well as chicken into eight pieces. I worry how the, I'm going to hold the knife, whether or not it's going to slip as I swing the meat cleaver. Okay, here you go guys. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> oh, I think I'm brutalizing the meat in the wrong way. This way, yeah. The pull of strength and accuracy from the thumb. While not getting my thumb being cut. Ah, there you go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Come on. So basically the secret is the angle in which you lift the knife as you can see here. So the steeper the angle, the more likely you will be able to cut the meat at one go at least. As you can see, there's a lot of beef uh, on display. Part of the challenge should be to sell all of this as the day goes by. But let's see as, uh, whether there are any customers today. Uh, it's a weekday though. The time now is right about 8 a.m. And uh, it's estimated that quite a lot of customers will pass by this wet market. Mari Mari Ayam, Daging. Yeah, what's up? Uh-huh. Kaki Tana. Potong 12, eh? Alamak. Potong, tak tahu. Potong 12? 12. Tak. $7, dollar, eh? Well, seems that I'm going to be manning the stall for now while Mr. Roslan goes to the toilet and let's see if we get any customers. One kilo. 14 plus 11.25. Well, making the sale just now, I was kind of struggling between knowing like which cut is at what price because uh, there are different pieces of meat to be categorized as. So doing a bit of uh, mathematical sums in my head at in the same time, uh, dealing with the customers and being like a, you know, like a good salesman, it's all quite challenging so far. So that wraps up my stint as a stall holder at the meat stall here in Sengkang uh, Wet Market. A lot of challenges. Uh, first off is standing up for over 5-6 hours. That was pretty difficult. And as expected, the chopping up of meat wasn't easy even though the knives were really sharp. But thank goodness I didn't cut a finger or two. 